If you're about to work with somebody that's going to be building you a website in WordPress using Elementor, this video is for you. I'm going to go over what you need to look out for to make sure your website is easy to work on and easy to maintain. And hopefully this will save you a lot of time and money in the long run. And if you're new to building websites for clients using WordPress, the advice I'm about to give you is going to help you improve faster and provide a lot more value for your customers. My name's Tim and I've been using Elementor for a few years now and in that time I've worked with a lot of clients. And we can split those clients, those projects into two main categories. The first are the people who don't have a website or who just have a website designed and they need it built. And then we have the second group which are people that already have a website, somebody built it for them but they're not happy with it and they want me to fix it. Or they're mostly happy with it but they need upgrades, they need changes they need added functionalities and so on. And the thing I run into most times is a very messy website because a lot of developers that aren't skilled take shortcuts. They use a theme. Now in WordPress, you technically need a theme for your website to function. What I mean by theme here is a theme that gives you content, functionalities, and allows you to style your whole website quickly and easily. And most of these themes are fairly cheap as well. Sounds great, right? Well, not really. The thing with these themes is they are incredibly limited. They often have poor support, especially over the long term. They apply their own styles to everything. They limit you when it comes to creating pages or elements such as headers or footers. They give you a pre-designed template that you need to stick to for the most part with some slight changes, which is great for beginners or for those who need a quick and easy website. But it's not great if your website is really important for your business or if you have plans for it long term. It's also not a good option at all if you want a really personalized design and if branding is important to you. And on this channel, we're all about cool design and combining cool design with sensible and combining that cool design with sensible, functional web development. So if you're interested in content like this and if this is helpful, please make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really does help me out a whole lot. It helps us out a whole lot. The issue is that the design is going to be adapted to the technical limitations of the theme. Instead of the website being built around the design, it's going to be designed around what is already built which is not good. The other thing with these themes is that they often require a bunch of additional plugins. And those are just plugins that the theme itself needs to function. And the more plugins your website has, the harder it's going to be to maintain. There are more opportunities for issues and bugs and things breaking. And generally, it just makes your website both slower for users and developers and less organized and more difficult to work on. Then we get into the even more unnecessary plugins. Plugins that are meant as a free alternative to Elementor Pro. All of which could easily be replaced and improved by actually using Elementor Pro. Now I'm not saying Elementor is perfect, it's not. I'm not here to sell you on that idea. But it's much better and cheaper in the long run than free, free alternatives. You can rely on long-term updates and maintenance. There's a large community that can help you. The support is usually, not always, but usually better and everybody that knows how to use Elementor will know how to work on your website and edit things. And that's where I come in. If you throw me into a website with a theme and a bunch of plugins that replace Elementor Pro, I'm gonna need twice as long to do work that is half as good as if I just used Elementor by itself because I'm just limited. I can't do what I want to do. So what ends up happening is that I always advise my clients that we do a full website rebuild. Of course, I give them the option of just working on the changes they need. But I tell them completely honestly, hey, this is going to take me this long. It's going to cost this much. The result will not be the best because the theme and plugins are going to be limiting me or you or whoever works on the website on every step. We're better off remaking everything from zero. And sometimes, of course, certain things are still built directly with Elementor. So those can stay as they are, even if I need to change the theme and rebuild certain things. But even then, whichever way the client chooses, 
it ends up costing way more than if they actually had the website built properly from the start. Because even if we're just adding pages and functionalities, if you just add things to a website that has poorly set up basics, that's just putting off actually fixing the problem. And eventually, if you're serious about your website, you're gonna have to fix the problem. So what's the solution? If you're working with somebody that's gonna be building you a website using Elementor, I really suggest you insist that they use the Hello Elementor theme. That's a theme developed by Elementor that's bare bones, so it's really light, minimal, it's free, it's basically just there because it needs to be there. But it isn't gonna add any styling, any functionality or anything else to the website. Which is perfect because it means everything can be built with Elementor directly. You have way more control over how things look and work and it's gonna be relevant a lot longer than other themes. I also really recommend you insist that they use Elementor Pro. Do not go for free alternatives, it's just not worth it. In the end, if you're serious about your website, you're just gonna end up paying for Elementor Pro anyway, but you're also gonna be paying to have all of the side parts that aren't native Elementor built again. If they can't handle these two requests, find somebody else. Find somebody experienced. Anybody that is good at using Elementor should not have any problems with following these two conditions. Pay a professional and get it done right from the start. Even if it costs more, I promise you, it's cheaper and easier in the long run. Buy once, cry once, buy nice or buy twice. And if you plan on building websites for clients, do the hard work, learn the basics of Elementor, learn them well, and don't try to hide a lack of understanding of web development behind themes and plugins. Invest in Elementor Pro if that is your tool of choice, and don't give your clients a subpar website just because you don't want to pay for the proper tools. Learn some basic CSS, learn how to do things with as few elements and plugins as possible, and you're gonna be building awesome websites in no time. If this video was helpful, first make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons, and then go check out this video next. If you found this one interesting, I guarantee you're gonna find that one very interesting as well. Thank you for watching.